Well, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us today. Well, the church seems to be under attack from all angles, even from Christians within the church to non-believers outside. That's right. In today's cancel culture, many are quick to point out the negatives in ministries and churches all over the world. One of our viewers wrote in asking, what can we do to stop it? Polly from YouTube wrote, I see so many Christians focusing on negative things in ministries. They're quick to cast judgment. And this even comes from my pastors. I love them and am praying for the for their eyes, for the eyes of their heart to see it. It breaks my heart. Is there anything more to do than pray? Well, Polly, l- 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 let me point out two scriptures. If uh, the words of Jesus, if we judge not, we will not be judged. And then the words of Paul, that what we judge, we also do. Mm. So, you know, what is it that we're doing? We're, we're, We're trying to point out flaws in others, but we're really seeing the flaw in ourself. And so, um, you know, one of the keys to loving others is loving yourself and saying, Okay, God is in me. He is fixing my flaws. There are many. There are more than I can number, but he is able. And in that, if he's able to do it in me, then he's able to do it in others. So let me play, um, I don't like to say devil's advocate, so I'm going to say angel's advocate. (laughs) So the word also tells us to, if our brother rebukes us, or no, if our brother offends us, we are to rebuke Rebuke them. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Exactly. So how... What? Have you ever gotten angry in your entire life? Yes, of course I have. <laughs> of course, I'm I've human. I've never seen it. I've never I am seen human. You. Yes, everyone has angry. buttons. Okay, I've got buttons. But no, I mean, what would be an appropriate way to do that in today's modern church culture? Well, it depends on what the fence is. I mean, you know, it, it, the the original scripture comes from the Torah. I mean, Paul is quoting Torah there, mm-hmm. and it has to do with offenses under the law. Okay. Yeah. So the the person who is offending you is because he's breaking the law of God. Okay. So if your brother offends you, rebuke him. So pointing that out, right. hey. Hey, by the way, hey, this by is the a way. sin. <laughs> hey, by the way, you know. <laughs> don't want to be I, judgy over here. Yeah, but, yeah. But in our modern culture, you know, we, we have don't judge me, particularly mm-hmm. about sin mm. and particularly about righteousness. I'm not talking true. about the, you know, I've seen church splits over, do you have an overhead as opposed to a hymnal? Wow. Wow. Or, you know, how dare they bring a drum kit into the sanctuary? Mm. You know, the, the and frankly, it's not new to the church. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was, in, back in Egypt in the third century, they were all upset about the dancing in the church. Mm. So it, it's it's one of those things that just seems to, Offenses just seem to come. Mm -hmm. And Jesus predicted that. He says, offenses will come. Yeah. But blessed is the man who's not offended by me. Mm -hmm. Uh, So let's 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 realize that's the standard. Keep coming back to Jesus and his love. I think it's just we live in a very interesting time right now because people are so quick to uh, say what they're offended by behind a computer screen and not Mm -hmm. face to face. And I feel like that brings a whole other realm of um, skepticism and cancel. I mean, that's essentially cancel culture where it's coming from is social media. So how can we... You can vent, but you don't have to bear the blowback, if that makes any sense. Mm. You don't have to overcome the obvious emotional reaction that person Mm -hmm. is going to have. Because I... Well, okay, so my question would be, Mm. if you are watching a sermon online, because a lot of people are watching sermons online, whether that's um, their local church or a mega church that's in another state that they feel a part of, but they're part of the online audience, and they feel offended by something that the pastor has said, would you recommend them commenting their offense? Or it depends. Would, you know, I just, I just feel uh, like the know, comments, think, the think, trolls out there, because there are trolls, it, people who purposefully it, do that. Well, trolling and, and shredding is the, yeah. you know, don't do that. I mean, yeah, goodness exactly. gracious. I mean, Get the plank out of your own eye. Respect the, the person, respect yeah uh what they're trying to do Mm -hmm. uh and you know the bible has plenty of instances if you see somebody that's uh you know maybe needs to be guided i love the phrase they they went to him privately and they showed him a more excellent way Mm, yeah (laughs) Uh, yeah. so it's 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 great to do things in private matthew 18 is great if 
you know, go to your brother privately. Yeah. Um, doing something public in a comment yeah. uh, isn't really helping the situation mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. So go to them privately, and and th these are good things. But yeah. what's your motivation? That's yes. the key. Yes. And if your motivation is love, yep. then yay. Yeah. If your motivation is anger or you just want to tell everybody just how upset you are, then yeah. you might want to check that and say, well, mm -hmm. I, I, got, I need to go have some prayer time. <laughs> yeah. Seek the <laughs> and, Lord first. And I, I, I've, got to, I've got to fix me first. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, we have another question. This is Mike from Instagram. He asked, it seems as though people come to church just to judge and criticize anything from the worship to the preaching. Is this due to us, I'm assuming he means the church, leaning more into the performance culture? Mike, I think it has more to do with human nature. Um, a psychologist will tell you, your eye goes to the flaw. So if mm -hmm. you see a picture and there's a flaw in it, your, your eye will go to it. And so you, you come into any environment, you're not going to say, boy, everything is great. You're gonna, you're gonna focus in, well, there's something wrong here. Um, in some instances, that's good. It leads you to you know, want to try to fix things and make everything better. Uh, there's a wonder, wonderful Jewish phrase, tikkun malam, let's repair the world. <laughs> the world is obviously broken, let's do yeah. our part to repair it. Uh, but it can also lead to something that I think is very dangerous, where you acquire a critical spirit. Yeah. It becomes part of your personality, yeah. and you're known more by your complaining. Mm. You're, you're known more about your outrage yeah. or, um, you know, what is, you know, I want to express what's wrong today or what I perceive is wrong today. Um, it, that can be very poisonous, and, and, and the Bible calls it a root of bitterness. Yeah. And in that, you become defiled, and you don't even understand you're being defiled. Um, so uh, please get to a point where everything is motivated by love. Yeah. That's Absolutely. the commandment. So mm -hmm. if your motivation is love, if you're doing things out of love, if you're doing it out of care and concern, then everything is going to be flowing wonderfully in your life, yeah. and you're going to have a better life. Yeah. And who doesn't want to have a better life? Who wants a life, a life of complaint, of bitterness, of offense, uh, where people around you don't know, are, are you triggering something, and, you know, what did I do wrong now, and all of these kinds of things. So if you're motivated by love, that's a good way to live. Absolutely, and I think it's key to remember, give grace just as God has given you grace and to remember that a, a church is made of imperfect, flawed people. And that's how Ashley gets along with me. No she just gives perfect. me grace every single day. <laughs> hey, you give me grace, too. <laughs> I need it's, grace all the it's time. It's back and forth. All right, well, if you guys would like to ask, a, ask us a question or give us a topic to talk about on the show like we just did, make sure you visit our social media pages. Look for uh, posts on different platforms, such as Facebook and Instagram, at 700 Club Interactive. You can visit our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash 700 Club Interactive for extended interviews and more stories. And we're actually going to clip this portion of the show out so you can share it with your friends and family. So we encourage you guys to do that. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.